Burn up, burn up, I say the mark I represent for BTV I mean, say if you now watch this, you now watch it No, burn up, man That's just a prelude to what I'm saying about my nephew, who I am so proud of tonight. Well, um, he was kind of up and down and around and topsy turvy a little bit, you know. But he came within himself and focused his mentality on the future. I have to give credit to the, for that to his mother and his father. Because. Can I say two other names? Oh, Auntie Monica, Gary, and Denise. Auntie Monica. Yes, very yes, well, yes, very yes, well. Yes, yes. Yes. But <laughs> there comes a time in every man's life, even while he's a boy, when. He might say to himself that, Chad, look at yourself. You are no longer a kid. You are now a teenager going into uh, adulthood. Turn it around. He said that. I know he said that to himself. And he started to show a certain kind of application and stick to itiveness and ambition. Hold it back, Father. Hold it. Uh, uh, um, uh, stick to itiveness and ambition. And today, we are pleased to celebrate with Chad a Masters in Social Work. Give thanks and praise. <laughs> Yes. But they say, you know, it takes a whole village to raise a child. So the parents can do what they have to do, but the village came in. And here we have Chaddy. Congratulations. I wish that you move. I wish that you move from strength to strength. And you make your con contribution to the world. Give thanks. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, my brother Tony said something just now that touched me. My brother Tony said, God is with us. Everybody knows some me love sing already. All right? Half of what you said, Tony. I, wa I want to say, God is with us in all our trials. We are never out of his care here, even when the road gets hard to travel. Get up and dust yourself off, no wala in despair. When I saw only one footprint, I recognized Christ was carrying me through the pain, through the strain, no mention the agony. Thank you, Father God, for your saving grace and mercies. Gideon soldiers in God's army. Bringing the good news, want the heathens and swami. Straight from New York to Memphis, Tennessee. Stone Mountain, Georgia, and back to Poughkeepsie. The spirit of God always guides me. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, okay. We gotta keep it moving. Now, I get to say something about my special niece. And the reason why Maxine is special to me is because ever since she was born and I met her, she has been special to talk to me, to come around, and we had a very good relationship all through the time that we've known each other. So when this okay, occasion, is in the back, please. when this occasion right. arrives today, it means that I'm seeing something of a 
fiddle on the roof moment when what's his name would say tradition yes. <laughs> tradition you know we can't get anywhere without tradition and what we see occurring with uh, with Maxine is part of a long tradition in the Bird family so as we come to celebrate her accomplishments despite the, tr the struggles, the difficulties, the pain and the joy, we can share with her what feels like an accomplishment. Okay? We, we can share the fact that regardless of the fact that she was in Trinidad and she had to leave there with four children and forge ahead to accomplish her God-given talents, her joys and her wishes and make her parents proud. We can celebrate that with her tonight. And now that she has her RN, we know that there are other areas she's going to excel in. And we just want to be behind her and make sure we, we support her and we celebrate with her tonight. And if I had a glass in my hand, I will just said, here, here, to Maxine. Here, here. All right, all right. Congratulations. And I wanted to, and I wanted to add on to that. I, I know there's a lot of graduates here, so as we say here, here, I wanted to say here, here. If you're graduating this year, say here, here. Here, here. Yes. Everybody graduating. Yes. All right, so I'm going to get food.
this is a story that takes us down memory lane. Not one about back in the day when our father was about five or eight or nine. Uncle Lincoln and myself, we were going to we take me to church. It's a church Sunday night, Monday night. There was a boy who had to go to church on the street. I also have to go get up in the morning and go to school. There is no church that day. It was where you have church going from early in the evening to late at night. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Having a great night, and they were in the spirit. No. And it's life, it's life, it's life, it's life. They would keep church as long as the spirit would say. Almost when it's such time when church was over. Poor little me, walking home with my uncle, Lincoln. I'll be sleep walking all along the road. Wake up and look at the cross to the river, go to the banana wall, walk up the hill, and we can hear the rustling of the trees, dry bananas, rushes, and bushes, and grasses, and sometimes you think you're listening to a roll of drums. <laughs> but you know you had your buckle up, the first part buckle up. And because we had the lamp, maybe that was the thing that gave us courage and we could take it home and be okay. But it also happened that there would be some Saturday night when I would be alone going home. <laughs> And just like any other guy, if I was going through the banana walk, I could hear the rustling. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta go back to the I tried to come back to the And you know it. I just told you, there were many nights I would be trapped in the big No, you don't. All the way, all by myself, by the I was from the road and go to the little fence. I would like to go to the across the river. And of course, we had no bridge. We had only a makeshift bridge, which were big boulders and stones that formed a bridge all the way across the water. Good old tribal living. <laughs> but those were the days. And uh, what I remember most of was the fact that uh, we would get home and then go to bed and have to get up early in the morning still. And I had that duty to fetch food and water before I go to school. And even though I didn't get enough sleep <laughs> the night before. Well, I guess that's some kind of discipline. And so that was the story. I don't know, you need another episode, you have to talk another time or whatever. Let it flow, let it flow. Yeah. Let it flow, he said. <laughs> let it flow. Well, there were times when Uncle Lincoln would farm the line. He said be a no rain. No rain? No rain. Oh, my goodness. I've got the back of the from the most high. Most no rain. Yeah, no Stop rain. this. <laughs> that's my brother. <laughs> So that's the story. Well, well, you know, we could talk about we could talk about life in Wood Park as I remember it, as I remember it, because I left 
the family home when I was five years old. And I remember the very morning when that happened. My mother had the habit of suddenly, even when I was age four, she suddenly sent me to the store at Rose. And I would go and buy butter or milk or sugar or whatever she wanted. And she could come to me, to go to the store, buy what she needed, and get back in time. I would not dawdle, I would not delay. And when I come back, she would pray me, say, good boy, good boy. And I think, please, that's the way. Because, because, because I'm coming to kiss the father, live and die right now, you know. Well, well, we like the improvement that. in communication. Say, over time, what's up? You did it. That. It's easier to communicate with the father. She could come to the father bigger than all of that. You know, to go all to right, the store right. and, and get what she wants and come back. So here this morning, this morning when I was going to leave the house, my the family and siblings, I go there with grandmother and uncle. This is what she said to me. She said, if you go to the store, bring back the groceries quickly, I will thank you. All right, it's good to see you. All right, hopefully this is not the last time. Oh, very good, very good. So, back to the story. That morning, it was probably about seven or eight o'clock of the week I was coming was coming. I was in the post school. I lived with them. And to a boy that was a great thing because I get to leave the house, I get to expose myself to new stuff, new people, a new town. And that town was Wood uh, Park. And so, so I'm glad I did as my mother said. And when I get back shortly after Uncle Lincoln arrived, and I was going to walk with him. Well, I didn't know what was going to happen, what the journey was going to be like. In fact, when I told my brother, I told my brother about that morning, he thought I was going to be able to use the road. But what we did, we actually went through a shortcut of it, through the forest. And through the forest, not through the main road. And I remember leaving, going down a slope, driving over a hill. And the journey probably took 26 to 30 minutes. And before you know it, we landed at Granny the way they live. Because here, here I was, I was one little boy, but then there was something like my granny. While I'm at home, I have all my siblings, Cody, and then there was Cody, there was Precious, there was Gurley, there was Peggy, there was Sister Gladys, and Sister Gladys is mom, and maybe even her grandmother. And so, I was being trusted to what was more like an isolated life. And um, I remember it being quite lonely for a while. And believe it or not, that, that stretch was seven years, seven or years. I um, suddenly, although I developed a certain kind of strength, I, I regretted it that I left my I just lost what I'm to And it took seven 
one verse and two lines of the chorus. Correct. Okay, correct. Chorus. All right. So we're keeping it tight. Yes. Tight. So we're going to sing regular happy birthday first, yeah. and then you can come in with your little dance. Sure and then me have to come in later. Song? Precious I have. You want to play the song? Can I play the song? No, no, no. We want you to sing. All right, all right. I'll sing it now. No, all right. All right. You know something? You can play the song like immediately. No, no, because no. I didn't give it to the DJ. No. You need give, to give it to the DJ. DJ. Give it to the DJ. Right. So you can work on it while we play singing your record. All right, but two minutes. You got two minutes. You're fantastic. I know. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's a complete. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. This is my granddaughter, Alexandria. I call, uh, she called me um, Grandpa Boomer. So yesterday I named her. Ali Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Ali Boomer. Hello, Ali Boomer. And yes, what I must yes, say, yes, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> what I must say is that you know we can multitask. So, so while we're doing the two um two birthdays, we still have in mind about those two people right there. Yes. yes. Who are they? You go everywhere. Trench town, this town, real town, is no afraid of nobody. Nobody. <laughs> With this Where's equipment. With this equipment. With this equipment. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay, we're, we're missing, we're missing Sean. Did Sharon leave? Sharon left? She's in the car. She's in the car. She's in the car. She's is that supposed to have the break card again? She. Be seeing I get the cake and then we go. Oh, we don't? Okay. 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 All right now. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Okay. No, 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 no. We're gonna. No, I know it's not now. Regular first and then yours for me. Tell me now. I'm just making sure the DJ is already. Okay. Yeah. DJ, ready? When? Correct. After we sing, we're gonna sing the regular happy birthday song and then. They play a short version of the, the your yeah. song. Yes, yes. Bingo. Okay, let's Bingo. go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. 
I said the mark I represent for BTV and I say if you now watch this and now watch it. Burn up, man. 